We're back at it again. Uh, this episode of the Cobra Daytona Build, I'm going to actually um, discuss my interior layout because I've got to get the interior, the gauges and the switches kind of mocked up where I need them to be before I can start wiring it up. Um, but in the process, I'll show you some one of the issues I've come across. So uh, definitely tune in and uh, we basically call this the uh, steering shaft shortening episode. So follow along. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. So as you can see, I've got the seat. Uh, it's not bolted down or anything, but it's in the car. Uh, I've also got the column in uh, the right way. So I'm gonna put the steering wheel on. Actually, I'm gonna climb on in this thing. I'll show you what I'm dealing with here. Very comfy seat, by the way. Um, so steering wheel is awful close. So I'm gonna see if I can move it this way. And hopefully you guys can see what I'm dealing with here. I got, you know, I got this much space between the steering wheel and the dash. I wanna kick this in a little bit. Uh, with the Russ Thompson um, turn signal deal and then the uh, quick release, I've added some good chunk of distance here. So I've got two ways I'm gonna fix this and I'll show you how and then we're gonna go through the process. As I said, this is just a little too close and I wanna get this this way. So uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So I think if I pull this apart, I can cut probably half to three quarters of an inch of distance off this tube, pick some up right here. And then if I also redrill these back, I can pick up, oh, maybe half an inch there. So that'll net me an inch and a quarter. So I think that would be actually better. Still not as much. And I could always, you know, weld the plate on here and really pull this back. But uh, I'm gonna try these two mods first and go from there. So I don't wanna get too carried away. So uh, we'll pull the steering column out and pull us apart, see what we got here, how much I can get. If I can get that, that there is a good uh, three quarters of an inch. So that would be nice. Pick up a half here. I'm an inch and a quarter. Might get me pretty close. So let's give it a shot. Pull the steering column assembly out. Uh, as I said, these things are just kind of loose because I said I'm still mocking things up. Nothing's permanent yet on this car. So I'm going to pull this out. I don't see why I can't shorten that thing all that full distance. The Delrin bushing is in there. And I also realized that these, on the Russ Thompson thing, they're scraping a little bit on the inside of this tube. So I may uh, clean that up too, because I want this thing as free moving as possible. So let's cut that off. Yep. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna cut this tube off. I'm gonna put this on here. I'm gonna measure that distance and I'm gonna cut that tube off that amount. So that way we're gonna pick up some space right there because that Delrin bushing, as you can see, it's quite a ways in there. So I got plenty of room, but I can't go beyond this lip because then it's gonna ride there. So that nets me just a touch over half an inch. Just a touch. So I'm gonna cut a half inch off this tube. So what I'm gonna do, uh, this is fine line tape. It's exactly half an inch. I'm gonna put this, hopefully you can see this. I never know what I'm seeing or not. So I'm gonna put this all the way around this tube. And then I've got half an inch. So that's how much I can actually cut this down um, and that'll get me closer. So I'll get a high speed out and just kind of whack this. I'm gonna stuff something down there so I don't get crap down inside that uh, Delrin bushing. So let's give that a shot real quick and we will grind this down. Okay, so I've got it cut down. Uh, I just use a high speed and just, you know, real quick. It doesn't have to be precise because it's, you know, it's feeding on this edge. So I'll clean it up with the file now and then we'll uh, reassemble and see where we sit. Clean the edge up of the file, uh, nice and clean now. So now we'll see how it fits in here. Oh, see, so now it sits on that lip. 
Oh, and it's right up against the uh, this upper bushing. So we're actually perfect. I don't know what that material of bushing is. That must be plastic. I may clean that up a little bit too. Okay, uh, so that, that is perfect. So then we can take the set screw here, tighten this up once we get this, which I think is going to go that way. But uh, that looks really good. That looks really good. So that just netted us a half an inch. So let's bolt this back up and we'll try with that half an inch. So I picked up my half an inch here. Um, I'm gonna re-drill these back and pick up another, oh, I could probably put it right there, pick up another half an inch. If that's not enough, it feels better. It's still not quite right. I still need it to go a little bit this way. Um, and if that's not enough, then I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to weld in a plate here, which I can probably easily do because I got spacers here. So I'll just weld a plate in and then pick the bolts up from underneath. Uh, that would definitely be easy. And then I could kick this thing back another inch or whatever I wanted at that point. I got plenty of room. Why Factory 5 doesn't put like a slotted bracket here? Uh, that way you can move this column in and out beyond me because it would make life easier for people that want to put you know quick releases a russ thompson turn signal adapters all that kind of stuff on here and for some reason they uh yeah it'd be a good ad uh, if you guys factory five you're watching this video uh, you know just rechange this plate and slot those things it'd be ideal you got a little slot in them now as you can see let me see if i can pull this off yeah you can see it's slotted but it, it you could you could give us so we could have two inches of adjustment uh, get rid of this triangular thing. I don't know what that's for. Any wires are supposed to run up through there. I'm not sure. I'm not going to be doing that. But uh, yeah, I think uh, that would be a good little addition there. The next version, you just change this whole mounting. So I'm going to redrill these. We'll try it again, see where we're at. And if not, it's going to be weld time and fabrication, which I like doing anyhow. As you can see, I've redrilled the holes. It's going to net me about another half of an inch, maybe a little over. So this will give me over an inch in this way. As I said, if this doesn't cut it and I've got to go into here, I'm going to cut that out, this crossbar, weld in a hole. I'm basically just fill this whole thing in, tack it up, and call it done. Um, and I might even weld it down below since i got to run spacers. Then I can run smaller spacers, you know, so we'll see. But let's give this a shot. Okay, so I've shortened the steering column both by shortening the, uh, the tube, the Ron Francis tube, which netted me a little over half an inch. And then I also moved the bolts up into here, uh, stuck the drill, the redo drilled in the holes back that way, which gained me about another three eighths of an inch, give or take. Uh, so I've netted almost an inch back to or towards the front of the car. And as you can see now, the gap, I'll move that out of the way, the gap between the steering wheel and the brow piece, I really don't want to get any closer than that because I do want to run the brow piece. I mean, I could probably eliminate that. Um, but I think after looking at this, this is the way I'm going to run it. Um, I sat in the car now and I think uh, as I said I could go a little bit more you can see I could still kind of get us another half an inch probably I don't think it's worth it because then I got to weld and refab and do all of that so I think we'll call this project done so that was it for modifying my steering column give me a little bit extra space to compensate for that quick uh, release adapter and the Russ Thompson as I said now I think I'm in the right spot uh, as I said you know if you look Gap is, I wouldn't get much closer than that or you're going to start risking your hands on that. So we'll call this complete. Thanks again for watching and definitely please hit subscribe and uh, I'll have more at you in the next uh, few days. Thanks.